Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. Today's date is June 7th, 2024. This is the Kickstarter video where we take a look at three of the major currency pairs, the euro versus US dollar, the dollar versus yen, and the sterling versus US dollar. From a technical perspective, we just came off, off the US jobs report, which uh, showed a gain of 272,000 jobs. That was much higher than the 185 expected. There was a revision of minus 15,000 in the previous two months. We saw uh, the unemployment rate, however, tick up to 4. 0% from 3.9% expected. And last month, average hourly earnings also moved higher to by 0.4% versus 0.3%. And the average work week uh, uh, remained steady at 34.3%. Uh, another uh, per perhaps um, a weaker uh, uh, side to the uh, the report was that the uh, labor force participation rate decreased to 62.5% uh, from 62.7%. You can look at that in two different ways. But anyway, uh, what we are seeing is the dollar move higher. We're seeing interest rates move higher. The 10-year yield is now up 14.3 basis points uh, to 4.425%. Now, understanding that, uh, uh, you know, at the end of yesterday, it was down about 35 basis points coming into uh, over the last six or seven uh, trading days. So uh, that's a, a bit of a, a retracement of the decline uh, still down uh, from uh, the peaks that we've seen recently uh, in the uh, yields in the U.S. So with that said, let's uh, take a look at some of the technicals that are driving uh, the three major currency pairs. Let's start with the euro versus U.S. dollar. We're looking at the uh, euro versus U.S. dollar in the hourly chart, and you can see the uh, sharp move to the downside. We started the day above the 100-hour uh, moving average. That's the rising 100 Hour moving average and the rising 200 hour moving average. You call from earlier in the week, the price did bounce off that 200 hour moving average. That was on Wednesday's trade. In trading yesterday, the market that came down you know, between the 100 and 200, but could not sustain momentum below the 200. So getting below the 200 hour moving average was a, a key uh, shift uh, to the downside uh, from a technical perspective. We also moved below the 50% retracement of the last moved to the upside. Now, the uh, low price that, uh, that we saw on Monday's uh, trade. Uh, what, it came down to 1.0827. As you can see, the price did dip a little bit below that level, but we're back above that level. So there is some, uh, you know, surprisingly, uh, we uh, still are above the uh, low, or we currently are above the low from uh, the week, but we did reach a new low uh, for the week off the uh, jobs report. Uh, where where uh, I would look for uh, resistance now is uh, probably the 50% uh, retracement. That would probably... That would, that would really be disappointing if we move above the 50% retracement and really, really disappointing if we move back above the 200-hour moving average on the top side. So these levels are uh, going to be resistance levels. Close risk might even be the 61.8 at 1.08363. Take a look at the daily chart, see if there's anything off of that chart that we can grasp onto. Uh, the, you know, we can see that the uh, 100 and not only 100-day moving average on the downside at 1.0807 go back to the hourly chart that's this level right through here the 200 day moving average remains a, a key target uh, in trading last week the price came down to the 200 day moving average found support buyers so it's easier to see off the hour, hourly chart here i'm sorry i didn't uh, recognize that on the downside as targets targets but this uh, area right through here is obviously key levels uh, for uh, the euro versus us dollar on further weakness uh, to the downside uh, so be aware of that and uh, we can probably stretch the uh, Fibonacci retracement off from, from this low to this high right here. And the 50% midpoint of that uh, move to the upside uh, comes in right around that 200-day uh, 200, uh, 200, uh, moving average. So uh, be, be aware of that, uh, 1.07825 versus 1.0786. Uh, this area right here is going to be uh, key, uh, key on the downside for uh, trade, traders uh, on further weakness through the 100-day uh, moving average. So let's uh, take a look at the dollar versus yen next. And again, we'll focus on the hourly chart here. And what we see, see, saw is a uh, sharp move to the upside here, of course, uh, that uh, took the price uh, back above the 100, or two, 100 and 200-hour moving average. So the 100 just flew through that. 200 was a little bit, uh, you know, may have a shot above that level. This 200-hour uh, moving average is now going to be uh, the close risk defining level for this uh, pair as long as the price remains above that level that the uh, bias uh, can remain more uh, to the upside uh, the level also happens to correspond roughly with this uh, swing area through here which had a uh, swing uh, high through here and uh, then let me get on the hour or the arrow here uh, you can see the number of different uh, swing highs and swing lows that came within this area right through here that uh, either forced the price to the upside or, or 
kept the lid on the pair like it did here, like it did here. Uh, so uh, th this area right around the uh, 200 hour moving average, right around the 61.8 percent retracement of this move to the downside, and right around the uh, swing swing level uh, here at 156.54 is going to be the key barometer uh, for traders going forward. As long as the price can remain above this area right here, the bias remains more to the upside for the dollar versus yen. Finally, let's take a look at the sterling versus U.S. dollar, and if we look at this uh, currency pair, this is on the four hour chart. Uh, the high price that we saw in trading here today take, took out the high price that we saw earlier in the week to only buy a few pips but then rotated back to the downside we are not now below the uh, 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart it looks like the price is trying to or the market is trying to stay below that level at 1.2735 uh we um uh, if we can stay below that level the bias remains more to the downside for this uh, pair uh I'll put a horizontal line across here as well uh next uh, target target area uh probably within you know at these this this area right through here between one point around the 127 level and then we'll look toward the 126.74 up to 85 level uh that level uh also uh, corresponds with this uh last uh, trend move to the upside right through here the 38.2 percent retracement of that uh, move uh so be aware of this area right through here as a su uh, support uh on further Further weakness uh, in the uh, sterling versus U.S. Not not only today but going forward, uh, and uh, we'll watch uh, all these levels right through here where the price came down toward that level along with the 38.2 percent retracement. Again, on the top side, watch the 127.35 level as a close resistance. If the price can stay below that level, the bias remains more to the downside. So dollars moving higher, yields are moving higher. Uh, the stock market uh, we're seeing the uh, Dow Industrial Average down around 99 points. Uh, Nvidia uh, shares are down around 20. Dollars currently at the moment, the Nasdaq index is down around 46 points. Not too bad uh, here as uh, the market uh, digests uh, stronger growth, but higher uh, in potential inflation and a Fed on hold. Uh, we'll see how it all plays out going forward. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.